Hey guys, so this is going to be a review of the Bomb Scare books by Tom Bomb, um, Time Bomb com Comics. So these are basically anthologies. So they're a mix of like short stories and they're supposed to be horror based. So first off, you're probably wondering, are they scary? Not really. Um, I was kind of expecting more just because of the, the covers and the back saying um, not for the nervous. Saying that they weren't that scary, some of the stories were good, uh, especially in uh, book one. I didn't really enjoy the stories much in book two. Um, a lot of them were, a lot of it was more like monster based, which you can sort of understand just because obviously it's a short, you know, they're very short, like some of them are like three pages uh, long, you know, and trying to do like a horror element to it, it'd be, uh, it'd be easier just to do monsters than so much like psychological sort of stuff, even there's a few in there, but a lot of them are more monster based. Um, so as I said, the stories were right for me. It was just, it wasn't scary. I, I was expecting a lot more. Um, so there's that. So, talk about the stories in book one first. So, I, as I said, I enjoyed quite a lot more than the stories in book two. So, the ones that stood out for me was Care for Some, Some Desert by Gary T. Pex. That story reminded me, that one was kind of around me of like a story that had like, um, what do you call it again? What do you call it again? Um, you could use it as a metaphor, or oh, I was just overreacting, overreacting, overthinking it. But like that one, um, Bad Con Conduct by Dave Hailwood. Um, that one's basically that one was really short, but it was about a trip that kind of went wrong. <laughs> It went on the wrong, I won't give it too much away, but basically you didn't go on uh, on a travel, um, on a travel, similar as but on a vehicle, Haven was going to that destination instead of it was going to another one. Um, next one was Flesh of My Flesh by Jim Alexander, and then the last one was Suburban Satanist by Lou Schringer, and that one was more sort of like a comedy sort of thing, which is pretty cool and then out the second book there's only one story that stood out for me and that was Fitting Room again by Gary T Bex but overall they're all right stories I was just expecting more um if you do want to try them out then I definitely recommend picking up the first one not so much the second one Personally, I won't be keeping both of them just because they didn't really meet my active expectations that I was hoping for. As I said, I was hoping for it to be a lot more scarier. If you are looking for a scary comic, I do recommend Witches. Don't ask me how, well, who's that by again because I can't remember. Is it Snyder? Might be Snyder. I'm not sure. That one's a really good one. Um, but these, I was kind of expecting a little bit more, to be honest with you. I don't want to say they were more aimed at young, <laughs> mind you, I could say it was more aimed at young teens, maybe 13 year olds, I don't know, for me I just didn't find them that scary, so that's it for this review, so bye guys.